warm greetings of the day my dear children in today's class you will learn an interesting topic in avs that is be clean and healthy in this new chapter you will be learning about keeping our home and surroundings clean how we can keep our home and surroundings clean keeping our surroundings clean is very important dirty surroundings can spread many diseases you can see in this picture dirty surroundings isn't it you can see that the waste is thrown here you can see first picture dirty surroundings how does it look does it look good no we should not keep our surroundings dirty second picture you can observe clean surroundings the same place that is clean isn't it beautiful to see our surroundings clean we have to keep our surroundings clean just like we keep ourselves clean we need to keep our home and surroundings clean here are some ways how you can keep your surroundings clean first one keep covered dustbins or waste paper baskets in all the rooms that is bedrooms washrooms and in the kitchen we have to keep the dustbins covered next one we have to collect all the waste in a big bag or a big dustbin here in the picture you can observe the waste collected in a big bag or a big dustbin then you can see garbage collectors you need to collect all the waste put it in a big bag or a dustbin and give it to the garbage collector you can even throw it in the community dustbin here you can observe the waste thrown in the community dustbin never throw it on the road or open places here you can see a cross mark you can see in the picture that waste is thrown on the road or open place we should not throw waste on the road or open places we have to collect the waste every day and give it to the garbage collector or put it in the community dustbin we have to also see that the community dustbins are cleaned every day next is do not throw waste in the drain we should not throw waste in the drain it may block or choke the moving water here you can observe that the waste is thrown in the drain you can see that the water is blocked so throwing waste in the drain may choke or block the moving water next do not burn garbage we should not burn garbage why should we not burn garbage we should not burn garbage because it makes the air dirty do not let water collect around your house we should not allow water collect around our houses mosquitoes live and grow in collected water next never spit on roads or public places such as parks roads and monuments our spit contains various germs viruses and so on it can spread 
many diseases so children you need to remember that we should never spit on roads or any public places do not litter the parks and other public places here in the picture you can observe that the waste is thrown everywhere in the parks you can see the dustbins the waste must be thrown in the dustbins we should not throw waste in and around in the parks next is do not write or stick posters on walls of any public places here you can see a cross mark we should not okay we should not write or stick posters on walls of any public places these are some ways how we can keep our homes and surroundings clean by following all these tips you can keep your home and surroundings clean use of dustbins we use dustbins to throw the waste you will be learning about two types of dustbins they are green and blue dustbin first let us see about green dustbins first let us see about green dustbin plant waste like vegetable and fruit peels paper and cloth can be thrown in green dustbins we can throw these waste in green dustbins these waste like unused vegetables vegetable and fruit peels paper and cloth get mixed with the soil they break down easily they are good for the plants these are the waste that we need to throw in the green dustbin blue dustbin glass and plastic can be thrown in the blue dustbins they do not break down or get mixed with the soil they are bad for the plants so we need to throw these waste separately we have to throw these waste in the blue dustbin we can keep green dustbins for plant waste and blue dustbins for other waste other waste like plastic and glass we need to give this waste separately to the garbage collector and also we must throw waste in separate dustbins in public places also so these are the things that you need to remember about blue dustbin and green dustbin next is keeping healthy and fit how we can keep ourselves healthy and fit let us see to keep ourselves fit and healthy we must exercise regularly do yoga and play games outdoor games make us healthy strong and active playing outdoor games is fun but it is important to take care of yourself when you play outside here are some ways how you can take care of yourself when you go to play outside first one is do not play outside when it is very 
hot. You should not play outside when it is very sunny or hot or in the afternoons. You may fall ill. So, you should not play outside when it is very hot. Next, always carry water with you when you are playing outdoors. Children, you should remember that when you go to play outdoors, you should carry water. You should drink water when you are tired. So, here you can see children carrying water bottle with them when they are going to play outdoors. Come back home before it gets dark. If you go to play in the evenings, you should come back before it gets dark. It is not safe to be out after it gets dark. So, children you have to make sure that you come back home before it gets dark. Cover yourself well when you go out to play in winters. Next is indoor games. I am sure that you play indoor games. How indoor games help us? Indoor games make our brain sharp and keep us healthy. Next is exercise and yoga. Exercise and yoga make our bones and muscles strong. Here in the picture you can observe that children are playing, exercising and doing yoga. How exercise and doing yoga help us? By doing exercise and yoga, we can learn the right way to sit, stand and lie down. They keep us healthy and disease free. So, we should exercise regularly, do yoga and play outdoor games as well as indoor games. Taking rest. Taking rest is very important or it is very necessary to our body. We should sleep at least 8 hours every night. How sleep helps us? Sleep gives rest to our body and relaxes our mind. We feel fresh and active after proper rest. So, taking rest is very important. In this chapter, you have learnt about keeping our home and surroundings clean. Next, you have learnt about use of dustbins. And finally, you have learnt about keeping healthy and fit. How we can keep ourselves healthy and fit. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you.